Need for speed. There is now manual transmissions, additional steering wheel support, an unlocked frame rate, 4K resolution, and new cars and customizables courtesy of both the icons and legends packs. There's a strangely heavy story component to this new Need for Speed. Gran Turismo Sport, the latest installment of the Gran Turismo franchise is coming to PlayStation 4. With the name Gran Turismo Sport, the graphics, sound and physics engine promised to be the most realistic ever experienced in a driving simulator, thanks to the new platform and the new technologies. But that alone would be a too obvious improvement. The way driving games are played also promised to undergo a revolution with Gran Turismo Sport. This is a vision that invokes the rebirth of motorsports. The major difference between real life motorsports and Gran Turismo Sport is in the fact that anyone, from children to the elderly, can participate and enjoy racing. Even players who have never played driving games until now can discover how fun it is to drive, whilst at the same time, it has the depth and complexity to meet the expectations of the existing Gran Turismo fans. Forza Horizon U are now in charge of the Horizon Festival. Customize everything. Hire and fire your friends and explore Australia in over 350 of the world's greatest cars. Make your Horizon the ultimate celebration of cars, music, and freedom of the open road. How you get there is up to you with the new Horizon Blueprint feature. You have the power to create and instantly share your custom gameplay. You can even hire friends to star in your festival and win you more fans. If they're not winning you fans, fire them. Danger sign jumps, convoys, drift zones, and showcase events that pit you and against a fleet of speedboats, a giant zeppelin, and more. Select your own driver character, customize your cars, create vanity license plates, even choose your own horn sound. Drive to the music you love choosing from eight diverse radio stations, or create a custom station using your own music collection. In addition to 12-player online free roam and multiplayer racing, all new 4-player online co-op allows you and your friends to enjoy the variety, competition, and rewards of the Horizon campaign together for the first time. Project Cars is the most polished racer I've played in a while, for sure. While contemporaries like Codemasters have struggled to deliver a game worthy of the most up-to-date graphical expectations with its F1 series, Project Cars really shines. The engine that Slightly Mad has built is impressive. From the interior detail on all 60 or so cars to the environmental design on every single one of its many varied circuits across the globe, it's quite a familiar lineup with legendaries like Le Mans, Spa, Frankel, Shops, and Monte Carlo. But this is undoubtedly the best that any of these off race tracks have ever looked on my PC. There are also a couple of fictionalized point to point courses. One through the gorgeous Cote d'Azur and another through the rocky Californian highlands, which look stunning under the setting sun. All of this content comes bolstered with a day, night system and breathtaking dynamic weather that delivers some of the most realistic looking rain I've ever seen. Drive Club review the 50 cars in Drive Club brake hard and grip like glue. But the driving model is still nuanced enough to let you feel the difference between a bulky Bentley, Continental GT and an eager John Cooper works tuned Mini. It's one size fits all handling, though, in keeping with the overall arcade sensibilities. Even with a boot full of throttle drive clubs, high horsepower hypercars spring from the line with only 
quarter at wheel spin, and they were seen mostly reluctant to about face mid corner in an orgy of oversteer. Even if the back end does step out, it generally only takes a smidge of counter steering to correct it. I found it satisfying and entirely in line with Drive Club's direction. Even if it's a fraction simplistic, the biggest problem I had with it is that the handling's too sticky to make the drift events much fun. I generally found myself getting bogged down mid-corner because it's surprisingly difficult to maintain momentum.